Hey folks, my name is Vladimir and in today's video tutorials I'd like to focus on the cylinder constraints and how we can reuse the mechanism for keyframe sequence animation. So this is the final result what I would like to show you. So you can see here that I am in the application animation and I prepare some really easy assembly with some conditions. So you can see here that if I will run the animation the system will move with some parts and animate it. Here is a question how to prepare the assembly. It will be first video tutorials and the second video tutorial I'd like to show you how to work with application animation. Okay, so I will start from scratch so I would like to delete everything and I don't want to save it. And you can see here that I prepare some small assembly and what is necessary to delete again is this file. Yeah, so if I would like to start from scratch, I need to prepare this one. Over here, you can see the base assembly and in this base assembly, the first component is placed, for example, on the default coordinate systems and the second object was placed by surface to surface and with offset dimensions. So you can see here that everything is correctly placed. You know how to do it, so I don't want to show you one more time. It's a base assembly constraints. If we would like to understand how to assembly 3D models, try to check my old video tutorial. Okay. So we would like to learn how to work with cylinder constraint. I'd like to assemble the 3D model and this 3D model we would like to assemble to know with standard constraints but with mechanism constraints. And in today's video trial I'd like to focus on the cylinder. If you would like to place 3D model as a cylinder it's really easy, select cylindrical surface and the second cylindrical surface and everything is ready. It's almost done. You can see here that I can finish this assemble because connection definition complete and everything is ready. So I can try to drag the components. Yeah, you can see that I can select the object, I can move, I can spin. This is the cylinder constraint only surface to surface, cylindrical surface to cylindrical surface and everything is done. You can see here that I have a old snapshots. I will show you later what does it mean. So I do, would like to delete it. In the future we will create a new snapshot for the animation. So you can see here that create cylindrical constraint is really easy. If you would like to edit because you can drag the object outside of the assembly, it's not good. Or you would like to spin the model and then you have some problematic definition because system doesn't care if you have some intersect objects. You can analyze it, so go to analyze and try to check the global interference. But now I don't want to check the global interference. I'd like to set the maximum and minimum value for my mechanism. So I will select function and the definition and in the placement tab you can see that I have a first axis alignment. What you can is the set translation axis. axis. What does it mean? You can set maximum minimum for these objects. So I will set that that surface, control that surface will be offset. For example, you can see here and you can check if it is OK, yeah, so you can specify the value and for example, you can measure and you can set that maximum value is, for example, this value and minimum value. Yeah, so maximum value you can specify 35.4, enter and minimum value we can check what is the good. Okay. 
this one will be minimum, so I will specify minus 15.4. You can set the zero value, but or you can specify your custom one. So now if I will finish my assembly, I have specified that I have a minimum maximum. So right now I can spin around, but I can move only left to right and maximum value is approximately minus 15 to 35. Yeah. So go again to Edit Definition tab and in the placement it's possible set maximum minimum for rotation. So if you would like to check the maximum minimum for rotation, select datum planes for example, and I'd like to specify and select control button and the system will show me the value and possibility. So go here, spin the model, and right now I have some value. I don't want to use this value because it's not zero, so I can set the zero position and then I can specify the maximum angle. So go here and try to measure or try to check what is good value for you. And for now it's minus 107. So minimum value is 107 and maximum value is zero. If you can, you can specify dynamic properties and enable friction, for example, if you would like to calculate with the dynamic properties. I would like to continue and my assembly is ready for preparing the snapshot. What does it mean? You can have a look at right now if I would like to move with my 3D model. I have a specify maximum for movement and maximum for rotation. Yeah, translation and rotation. And right now we can combine it. So what will be our animation? So you can specify here that, for example, this is the starting position and you can create a snapshot here and you can set the name, for example, start and enter and system will rename it. Then you can, for example, move it here. It will be second snapshot. Again, if you want, you can use and select the name. You can move it, create a snapshot. You can change name, open free. And again, the last position will be end, create snapshot and specify name with end. Okay. So right now you can check what will be at the start, what will be at the end, how will be look the sum position. You can create a lot of snapshots and then we can reuse this snapshot for the animation of your assembly. But how to do it, I will show you in the next tutorial because this tutorial was focused on the cylinder curve assembly constraints. Thanks for your time. Stay in touch. Bye-bye. Vladimir.